complement consists of a group of serum proteins that activates inflammation, destroys cells, and participates in opsonization. Complement can be activated by a number of different foreign molecules. The complement proteins respond in a sequential manner, producing a cascade of reactions. The major components are C1 through C9, named in the order that they were discovered, not in the order in which they function. The complement cascade can be activated by the classical pathway or by the alternative pathway. In the classical pathway, C1 becomes activated when it binds to an antigen antibody complex. The activated C1 then cleaves C2 into C2A and C2B and C4 into C4A and C4B. C2B and C4B combine to form a protease called C3 convertase. C3 convertase then cleaves C3 into C3A and C3B. In the alternative pathway, antigens such as endotoxin, polysaccharides, or cell wall components react with C3B. Small amounts of C3A and C3B are constantly being formed from C3, but without activation, they are soon destroyed. C3B reacts with the proteins factor B, factor D, and properidin to form a complex called C3 convertase, which cleaves C3 into C3A and C3B. Both of these pathways of complement activation follow the same sequence after cleavage of C3. C3A is involved in stimulating inflammation. C3B reacts with other complement components to form C3 convertase, which forms more C3A and C3B. C3B also attaches to the surfaces of microorganisms. Phagocytes have a binding site for C3B. Therefore, microorganisms with C3B bound to their surfaces are more susceptible to phagocytosis. Coating of bacteria to make them more susceptible to phagocytosis is called opsonization. Addition of properidin to C3 convertase results in formation of C5 convertase, which cleaves C5 into C5A and C5B. C5A enhances inflammation and acts as a chemoattractant for phagocytes. C5B reacts with other complement components including C6, C7, C8, and C9 to form a membrane attack complex. This structure forms a hole in the cell membrane and causes cells to lyse.